Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, located in Central Maryland. Welcome to another day of creative fun with the Sweet Sunflowers Paper Pumpkin Kit, the August 2022 kit. So today we're doing a mashup. It's a Christmas card mashup. We're taking the sunflower, sweet sunflowers and mashing it up with the leaves of holly. So I'm going to jump right in. If you get sick with the camera, a movement look away now because the camera is moving here we go and I know you're gonna see my ceiling my big light my big head all those things because that's what you normally see and then you're gonna see my workspace and the beautiful paper pumpkin kit for August and this has been an amazing kit. I really have enjoyed it. And I think a lot of people on the internet have been saying the same thing, that they enjoy it too. So let me try to straighten some stuff out, move this over, and see if that works. All right, so here's the pumpkin. Is it still a little cockeyed? Well, all right, here's the paper pumpkin box. And this is the August 2022 Sweet Sunflowers kit. And the box is beautiful. It's got those watercolor images, uh, sunflowers. And when we open it up, now this is not the unboxing. I've already done the unbox, um, unboxing bit. But this is the cards you can make, the nine cards you can make with this kit. And I'm getting in here to get my stamp set because we're going to mash that up. And it came with this these uh, hive elements uh, gold they were a free gift and I'm just going to take a half of one I've already pre-cut it so I made another card with uh, a half but I'm going to get that out of, from this kit and the other thing is I'm taking a card base so this is half of a card base I'll show you so it came with two ink spots beautiful envelopes and a variety of card bases and die cuts and I took this green solid one and made a card with it and I was going to show you how I did that how I mashed it up because that um, color is called Mossy Meadow and it reminded me of Christmas uh, before I go there though I want to talk about a couple of Stampin' Up! things the first perfect partners uh, during September you can get bundled some dies. This is only during September can you get dies for select stamp sets in the annual catalog and in the mini catalog that currently do not have dies. So you might have bought the stamp set, but now you can get the dies. Or if you haven't and we're considering it, you might want to buy the bundle. So like this apple set, uh, Apple Harvest, now you can get die cuts to cut those out. The fresh stems, uh, they have dies. And you can only do this, these are only available during September. Uh, the Playful Piggies has lots of dies. The tree trimming, this is in the uh, mini catalog. The Yeti dies, I mean, that is so darn cute. Yeti to party, uh, get Yeti to party, is it? Christmas Yeti. I mean, who wouldn't love to have a Yeti? And you could die cut him. And the waterfall dies. So that's during September. The other thing during September is on uh, each Thursday. So it was today is the 8th, then it's going to be 15th and 22nd. New deals are coming out. There's a, a new sale, weekly sale. The last date to get anything is the 22nd, because that goes the 22nd to uh, the end of September. So check out my online store, um, and it's under specials, I think. You can find out what's on special. The other thing is online retreat. World Car Making Day is coming up, and I'm participating in an online retreat. You can join me and my Stampin' Demonstrator friends. We'll be on Zoom. We'll be doing uh, three sessions, one on September 30th as a Friday, and two October 1st in the morning. They're 90-minute um, sessions. After all 90 minutes, after all three sessions, you will have 18 cards. 
um, register by the 22nd of September and I will send you a little pillow gift. You'll get by the 15th, which is next week, you'll get a PDF that shows all the projects, all 18 projects and cutting directions so you can be ready to make those cards with us while on Zoom. Can't make it on Zoom? No worries. We will shortly after, like within minutes after ending World Card Making Day on the 1st, I'll send you a link with a PDF of all the projects, the same cutting instructions, but this time there's a link to YouTube videos. You can go and watch after the fact uh, how each of those 18 cards were made. Uh, so hit me up. And I'd love to have you craft with me on World Card Making Day. Okay, so now back to my card mashup. Uh, here it is. So I took the base, that card base, I cut it in half. I took one of the Hive um, sheets that came as a gift. And I combined them on a base of Old Olive. And this uh, tag... Holly leaf berries uh, in the background come from the leaves of holly bundle. Let me show you that real quick. It's one of the um, bundles that I am loving most in the mini. So that's the July to December. So you have stamps. So you have a solid stamp. You have an overlay. You have some great greetings, Christmas wishes and seasons greetings. And then these little ones over here coordinating dies so you can cut out those holly leaves some little sprigs uh, the background um, to this for this uh, die cut here this label that's how you can get some color behind that and more little sprigs and this label and another label so this has been one of my favorite um, bundles from the new Mini, or I guess it's not Moo. It's been out for a couple months now. All right, so let's get ready to make. Oh, and I just remembered. I don't. I realized I don't have my card base. Oh, so here. Look at this for a minute while I go and get my card. So I'm getting my mossy meadow cardstock out. I think I might have a piece already cut. I just might need to um, not emboss it, but uh, you know, uh, score it. So let me bring in my paper trimmer. Make sure that my cardstock is the right size. Yep. That way, and then I'm going to score it in half at four and a quarter. So there's my Mossy Meadow card base. And then I'm going to take my card base from my kit, and I'm going to cut this down to four inches. And if I can get it lined up here, I'm going to cut it four inches by five and a quarter inches. So this becomes a layer on the card front. And when I saw this mossy meadow, it just, to me, it seemed like it was perfect for a Christmas card. And before we bring out my uh, stamp, because I did stamp on this base using this leaf image from my kit and then I was like looking at this little sprig here that would have been cute too but for today I'm just going to use this stamp put it on my block and bring in my mossy meadow ink and ooh, I didn't oh, I'm gonna, oh here it is it's like I didn't bring it over a scrap paper but I do have my uh, sunflower scrap paper from the other day because you know I love a pristine uh, workspace. So I'm just going to randomly stamp this leaf. Let's see, I'll have some come up this way. So I think they kind of, to me, it looked almost like the um, 
holly leaf a little bit. That might be enough. One more down here at the bottom. And then the other place I wanted to stamp that was on the inside. Well, I'll do this. Um, I guess I'll do this now. So I'm going to take this and decorate the inside of my card. I'm being very careful because I do have ink on my block. And I don't want to uh, get that on. There we go. And the last thing, well, one more thing, I want to put from our home to yours, which comes from the Leaves of Holly stamp set. So there's the, that. And the last, one more thing I want to stamp, and this will be the last stamp, because I've done all the other um, pre-cutting. So this is the beautiful die from that uh, bundle, the Hollyberry bundle coordinates with the leaves of holly. And don't you just love this label? Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm going to bring in Christmas wishes from that stamp set and ink that up and then just center it. I think that's about right. All right. And that truly is all the stamping because I've pre-done some stamping um, to move things along a little bit and some die cutting. So I've cut this. I die cut um, a holly leaf with the dies. And that's in mossy meadow and then the soft um, sea foam that's going to be laid over top. I stamped these in real red and I stamped the berries off first. And then stamped full strength with the the shadowing. So that's all done. And then I use this beautiful glimmer paper that's in the mini. Uh, it's gorgeous. It comes in uh, gold and the vanilla, which is so iridescent, and um, evening evergreen, really dark green. So I'm gonna glue that behind give that a little bit of sparkle so let me glue all this stuff of course my phone's gonna ring because I'm live and life happens hopefully we'll just hang up right yeah usually it's just telemarkers telemarketers so it's nobody I know it's just telemarketer all right, so I've just put uh, some little dabs of glue, and I'll line this up like that. There we go. And then I'm going to put uh, my glimmer paper behind, fit that in behind. So I'll just put some dabs of glue on these larger pieces. To secure that to the glimmer paper and this card is like really coming together quick it doesn't doesn't take much and so it's another use for this sunflower kit there's been so much on the internet so many beautiful projects but that green one green card base spoke to me and it said Christmas and so that's where I went with it. So it's, uh, now we have all our pieces kind of glued together. I'm going to use my card base and on that score line, just crisp it up and then bring my card base. Now this does have like a lighter and a darker, um, and it really I don't know that it really matters which end that you put up. I certainly didn't think about it when I was putting my card together. And I think either way would look nice. And then this. Now this piece, what I did, I laid it on my um, trimmer uh, and put each point on the cutting guide, I used a pencil and marked it and then it came back. So I try to use my 
trimmer, but it chewed it up so much that it's easier to just um, put a pencil mark on the back and then bring in my snips and follow along and snipped it right in half. So I'm going to uh, put some liquid glue just on the edge, just a little fine bead to tack it down and line that up with that uh, layer that I cut from my card base. There we go. And then this piece, our label, put some glue on this. And just trying to find the center. I think that looks good. And this is a little bit uh, loose, so I'm going to take this scrap that I cut off, just a little piece, and put some glue on the back of that. And I'll use that to tack down my that little piece that outlines. That'll hold it down. Next is put my uh, holly leaf. I really like that soft sea foam with the um, mossy meadow, that dark, that light against the dark. Set that down. And then for my little tiny berries, I'll bring in dimensionals. I'll put several of these behind and that will just pop these up. Oh no, I lost it. Uh oh. Uh oh. There it is. Of course it had to fall right, right down at my feet. So I'll remove these covers. And our mashup is just about done. I'm going to cover that stem up. Like that. And then on the inside, put our insert. Now if I had brought an envelope over to my crafting space, I would have stamped those same leaves on the, on the envelope. But I forgot to do that, so no, I mean for this, but I definitely can uh, stamp on my envelope when I'm writing my Christmas cards. So there we go. The mashup between Leaves of Holly and the Sunflower, Sweet Sunflowers, I think it turned out pretty well. I'd love to get, hear your thoughts on uh, this card. Check out my blog, stampinghair.blogspot.com. The link is in the description below. It goes to the blog post where I talk about this card and the cutting measurements and the ingredients I used on it. If you're watching on Facebook, please like and follow my page. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to my channel so you can get... Uh, be alerted every time I post something new. And I do have two more projects for this Sweet Sunflowers uh, kit alternative, so I hope you'll come back and watch. So remember, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, remember, stamping is fun. Bye!